Welcome you guys, I'm going to go over how to import and export textures with RedMC if editing support. So let's go ahead and load up RedMC. As you can see, it's our general uh, interface here that I went over with the overview video. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and open up the ABA ball, the a logo file, a cyberface file, and a uniform file. Just so we can get the wide range of everything. So whenever you see a TXTR right here, is a it, well it's a texture <laughs> and um, you can go ahead and export this and import this as you need to so let's take the uniform top of the uh, uh, what is this the Hawks practice uniform so we'll go ahead and export as DDS and we'll just throw it right on the desktop as you can see it automatically renames itself let's go ahead and open it in GIMP and we can close it up so this is our basic texture. We know this by now. Um, we can um, get rid of the layer mask to get the full texture and edit it as we wish. So let's say we just want to sign it uh, on the back. Jow. You know, that looks really crappy. <laughs> so let's do something different. Um, let's go ahead and resize this image to double the resolution. And now, let's go ahead and do the same thing again. Add layer mask, transfer, and disable, and we're not going to edit it. Jow. <laughs> As you can tell, I don't really write my nickname that often. <laughs> um, so go ahead and apply the layer mask. There we go. It's all beautiful and happy. Go ahead and export. And we'll just go ahead and overwrite our existing one. Uh, and we'll just go ahead, DX5, generate mint maps. And the nice thing is that RedMC is more flexible with uh, the formats that you import in. We can go ahead and close that up. Go over to RedMC, import, boom. You can also right-click files and export and import as you need to. You can also select multiple files and export all the files if you want and make a big mess on your desktop. <laughs> so there they all are beautiful um, what else what else what else so let's go over to the uh, faces same dealio if you have a uh, texture import export the same exact way same with the logo so let's say for um, NBA Jam mod we want to uh, make this logo kind of retro right so let's go to image and we'll scale the image down to 64 by 64 and we're going to have nothing for quality. So now, when it shows up in game, it's going to look like that. So that, that, that's pretty good for NBA Jam, right? Go ahead and export this. And that's fine. And we'll close that up. Minimize. And we'll go ahead and just right click here. Or you can press Control I, Control E, which is very useful. Import, replace, logo. Now it's resized the logo down to that size. We don't have to do any tricks or anything. Nice and easy. Resize the logo. And as you can see with this one, I didn't check that. Um, it's now 1024 by, or 2048 by 1024, nice and easy. Then for the ABA ball, as I went over in the, interv in the overview, um, scene files can sometimes have textures embedded in them. So let's go ahead and export embedded textures. Let's create a new folder on the desktop and just import them there. Load this up, and as you can see, we have four different files. And we can do the same thing as we've done with the other ones with these files. Uh, if you want to make sure you got the right uh, format for these files, you can uh, load them up in a hex editor and just see the DXT5 um, or DXT1. So let's go ahead and we can uh, image scale this up to what, what did I make that one I love so much? I think it was like 48. No, it was 48.96. That was it. So something freaking huge, right? Ooh, that's going to take a bit. <laughs> and now it's all blurry and crap. I mean, you can do image editing to make that all better. Main thing is I can go right here and just type in and just really joust me. <laughs> nice. And there. Now I have a nice merge that down. Um, ugly thing right on the ball. Go ahead and export 
this right over the old one and we'll just change it to DXT1. Um, and I'm happy with these. You know, you can resize them, make them bigger, make them smaller. You can update the green map if you want to. I got the other tutorial on how to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to RedMC. Import embedded textures, select the folder they're all in. Boom, done, hit save, and you're all set. That's it. Um, texture editing isn't that hard. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy. And especially with the names and everything that you um, get um, in the file, it makes things a lot easier. And I'm just going to go off the script for a second here and go over to my backup and copy over the portrait file just so you guys can see that if CDF files are also supported. So here are all the portraits that you can import and export and resize and all that fun. And it works just the same as any other texture. You just right click, import, export, or import, export here, and you're all set. That's the basics of it. There are a couple of um, tricky um, textures that I believe I'm going to go over in a different tutorial. So that's it for this one. That's basically how you import and export, and I will see you in the next one.